Hey guys, Mike here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we installed this little concrete ramp for this customer. Now, we'd already done some work for the for these people, and they wanted this ramp to go down the side of this retaining wall so they didn't have to walk in that crushed rock. So it's, it's a pretty steep ramp. It's not ADA, and it doesn't have to be ADA. So it's... Uh, it's going to slope quite a bit more than ADA. It's just for them. It's just a walking path so they can get from that upper level down to this lower level without having to walk in that crush rock or, or wheelbarrow in that crush rock. So all they told us is they wanted a ramp about three feet wide and they gave us the starting point up there at the top and, a, and an ending point. So it ended up being about 16 and a half feet long and they wanted it about a foot away from that retaining wall right there. So those were the guidelines that we had to go by. And it was just give us about a five to a six inch thick ramp. And that's what we're doing. So we're getting the forms up. I cut some pieces there to keep it from uh, <clears throat> bowing out. And now we're pouring the concrete here. I'm using a 4,000 PSI concrete. I got fiber mesh in it. I got air entrainment in it because we'll, it'll go through some freeze and thaw cycles here. And again, it's about six inches thick. So it wasn't a lot of concrete. It was about a yard and a half of concrete here. And we're going to give it a nice broom finish. So now I'm just throwing in some reinforcement. I didn't want to I didn't want to stick it in and beforehand because I wanted to just push it down and get it down about halfway into the concrete. And then I got Tia there helping me screed this thing. So we set the forms right to grade using some metal pins. And just basically the lay of the, of the slope is what we used. We set the forms on top of the slope, pinned them, and just made sure the ramp sloped away from the foundation. Although it's not going to have any trouble shedding water, so that really wasn't an issue. It's pretty tight squeeze for me in there in that one foot area but I made it all right so T is helping me screed this thing we always screed concrete uphill when we have a ramp like this it just it doesn't want to sag as much I mean you got to pour it pretty dry probably poured it around a four inch slump instead of our normal six inch slump and slump is just a measure of how wet or dry the concrete is you know between zero and let's say ten so a four is somewhat dry and it keeps its shape on a slope like this. So once we get it screeded, then we just got to smooth it off a little bit and push the rocks down, bring up some of the paste. So that's what I'm doing. And as I'm as I'm mag floating this out, kind of like bow floating it, I'm keeping my my float going on an uphill stroke also. That way the concrete doesn't sag as I mag this thing. So we'll get it all magged out, and then we got to let, let it set up and cure for a little while before we can put the finish on it. So we're back. It's been, I don't know, about an hour and a half probably, and we're going to start finishing this thing. The first thing I'm doing is I'm putting my edge on it, and i got a, a nice rounded edger, and I'm getting all my edges cut in. I've got some other videos about doing edging, guys, if you want to check them out. So this is the first thing I do when I start finishing. Now what I'm doing is I'm measuring out. I'm going to put a couple joints in this thing to help control any cracking if it did want to crack. So I'm measuring out. I'm going to cut it into three pieces. So that means i got to have two joints. And I'm just making sure they look nice and uniform and even. And that's all I need to do is just put a mark in there with my finger where I want it. Then I... I put my little four foot screed on there and I have my joiner and I'll just cut them joints in. It's basically the same, pretty close to the same as saw cutting the slab for joints, but it's just cutting them in early so you don't have to come back and saw it. I'll just run that thing back and forth until the joint looks nice and clean. And then I'll get my mag out again and I'm going to I'm going to remag the whole surface of this and bring up some new paste. And then I can run my broom over it and that'll give me some good broom marks. Now down here at the bottom, it had some quite a bit of taper in the bottom where it, it came down that slope and then it leveled off a little bit. 
That's why the broom isn't hitting in all the spots. That's only a two foot wide broom. So I had to go over it multiple times to get all my broom marks in it on this one little bottom piece. And even so, right where it right where it went from the slope to leveling off, that was a little bit tough with that two foot broom. So I'll get a I'm gonna get a smaller broom you'll see at the end to to touch up those areas. So I just continued the process of mag mag magging this out in between each groove and running the broom over it. And that's what we're gonna leave them for texture is that nice broom finish. I'm dealing with all those prickly rose bushes behind me. They kept catching on to the broom handle and catching on to my pant leg. So there wasn't a lot of room to work here for this, so that's why you just see me doing the magging and the brooming. So I get it all magged out. And then I broom it right after, and that just leaves a really nice broom mark. So they're going to do all kinds of, they'll, they'll redo that rock wall. They'll do the rest of the landscaping on the top and the bottom on this. So it'll end up all being a nice, even flow when you go to walk. There won't be a step there or anything like that. You can see me touching up those areas with a little broom. Well, that's how you pour a concrete ramp, guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If, you, if you're not a subscriber, I do concrete videos twice a week so go ahead there and hit the subscribe button hey guys just the little ramp we just completed this was part of a project we did last year where you might see you might have seen this video where we did this stamp concrete patio here so now they just wanted a little ramp on the side here to get up and down this area without having to slip and fall in that crushed rock so we gave them a little ramp